Hi everybody. Christina Shirts here, artist educator, dog mom to Vincent, the Aussie Doodle. Today we think that it would be good practice to learn about, thank you Vincent, one point perspective. <laughs> That's linear perspective. There's two major kinds of perspective. One is aerial or atmospheric and the other is linear, line, linear. So let's work, there's all different kinds of linear perspective, but today let's just focus on one point perspective. And by the way, Vincent, he is four months old, <laughs> and he is, as you can tell, energetic, delightful, um, curious, furry, but he doesn't shed, and he listens when I talk, but he doesn't do as I say <laughs> all the time. He likes to go on long walks, and he has his best friend Burke here by his side. I'm not going to lift Burke up. He is an 80-pound boxer. All right, I'm going to put the dog down. Let's get to drawing. Many of the images today, the photographs, are from guidetodrawing.com. I like to use different resources and share them with you. I think they're an excellent resource. So one point perspective and the cube. What a great project this is to teach you linear perspective. First, you need to know about the picture plane. Imagine this as a canvas and you're drawing this figure. You're trying to make the illusion that you can break through that frame into the distance, into the depth, the illusion of form. Linear perspective uses lines to a vanishing point, just like a highway, a distant highway where everything ends at one point. If you're trying to use perspective to your advantage in your work, where you locate the horizon line can have a large impact. So let's get started. You'll need various pencils. I usually use mechanical for this project. Ruler, paper, you can use your newsprint paper. And I like to use this Lucite hand rest, but you can just put a piece of paper down. Draw a horizon line across the middle of your paper. Label it horizon line. Draw a dot in the center, that's your vanishing point. Directly below, I did it about the ruler's length below the horizon line, directly below the vanishing point dot, drew a square. And this will be my first cube. I'll be making nine in all, and so will you, I hope. From the points of, of the sides, you will draw an orthogonal line, is what it's called, to the vanishing point, thus giving the illusion of a cube in space. You went from a square to now 3D, a cube. Next up, still below the horizon line, I am drawing a larger square. I start to get a bit rectangular and I grab those points and draw orthogonal lines to the vanishing point. They can cross over the other objects, just like if you're driving by buildings, they will have overlaps. And so parts of them will be obscured because of another object, because of your perspective, where your eyes are seeing the world. The third one I decided to do smaller on the left-hand side. It'll really be similar, a mirror image, but smaller compared to the one on the right of the vanishing point. It's very imperative that you start to get an idea of how it affects the object to be closer to the vanishing point, further away to the vanishing point, along the horizon line. So 
So next, jumped up above the horizon line, drawing one big square, connecting the points to the vanishing points. Ta-da! Only two lines because the rest is obscured. If we want to make transparent cubes, then we could break through and show how the edges connect to the vanishing point, how the points of the edges connect to the vanishing point on the horizon line. I'll do an example as my second to last one. So the frontal plane of the square you drew is parallel to the picture plane. So also are the lines that are at the back side from your viewpoint of the cube. They are perpendicular to the picture plane. So 90 degree. You're either dealing with 90 degree angles or orthogonal lines that end at the vanishing point. Since we are working only in one point perspective. Okay, I promised you I'd break over that vanishing point, break over the horizon line. Let's do it all. Let's see what happens. I do my two side lines, 90 degrees from the horizon line. A little wonky, but you know, we're gonna get the effect. If I could break through and see through this like Wonder Woman's airplane, then I could see how these points end at the vanishing point. Da, 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 da. It's like we can travel to another universe. I'd only done eight, so I added this cute little one off to the side to be nine sweet cubes. All right, get working. Remember 90 degree angles for the frontal plane and the back plane of the cube, the side, bottom, and top planes use orthogonal lines to be created. Have fun.